Carol Boy Shuttle Hurdle Relay team down here at the state meet after qualifying for the finals coming up on Saturday morning. Let's start off with that opening leg here today. Colton Thompson joining us. Colton, do you feel like you got off to a good start here today? No, not really. I mean, it ended up okay at the end, but uh, I started okay on the first few hurdles. Then we're around like the fifth or sixth one. I kind of, I'm not even sure what happened. Kind of almost stumbled a little bit. Kind of got a little off balance. Slowed me way down. But, um, I mean, it got, I think we're still going to be okay. But uh, still for finals, you know, I got to do a lot better. How did you get yourself balanced back up then? Just keep going. You know, hopefully I just try not to fall. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I've never been exactly the most uh, nimble guy on my feet, you know, so I was, I was hoping I might have lucked out a little bit, but I, you know, I just kind of, Kept going, just tried to try to not uh, to not change anything, just gonna kind of stick with it. You know? Did you clip any today? Um, I'm, I brushed a little off you, not nothing significant. Um, just kind of my back leg, nothing uh, to really worry about though. Do you feel like you had a pretty good, uh, you know, switch off there with Peyton? Yeah, I think so. I think he got off to a good start, you know, like we always do. We, we, you know, we were trying to play it a little sort of safe in this first one. We saw all the DQs that were ahead of us and everything, and and uh, not to mention we knew that with our time we, we'd probably be able to make the finals without having to. You know, push our luck with the with the starts. We decided that we really needed to make sure we didn't de DQ'd or have something goofy happen that would prevent us from moving on. Well, Colton, appreciate you joining us here. Look forward to talking to you after the finals. Thanks, Thanks, Jeff. Let's move on now to Peyton Renning, who ran that second leg. Peyton, you looked strong out there today. How'd you yeah, feel? I felt really good today. It's better when it's warm, so I feel like I run better when it's warm out. So. Good, good, good. Were you a little concerned this morning then when it wasn't quite so warm out? A little bit, not too bad. It was still pretty nice this morning, but then once it started clearing up, the clouds got out and something came out. So it really got me excited to run. How clean a race did you run today? I think I only just barely nicked one the second to last hurdle, so it was probably one of my cleanest races yet this year. Well, what do you contribute that to? Just the, probably the heat. It gets me loose faster and makes me stay, me stay loose. Do you feel like you got out of the blocks pretty well? Yeah. I know uh, Coach Rowetter said that not to go out too early because he didn't want to risk it and be good before finals, but I felt like I got out pretty well for playing it safe. Well, Peyton, I appreciate you joining us. Looking forward to talking to you after the finals. Thank you. Let's talk now with Nate O'Brien around the third leg today. Nate, you look really strong over those first about three or four hurdles. Kind of lost you in the crowd a little bit after that, but how did you feel like the race went? Uh, I felt good. Uh, I had I had someone running with me this time. Usually, usually when I uh, I get it from uh, you know Colton and Peyton, we're already you know hurdle or half hurdle ahead. So uh, I felt like I had a very clean race. Even you know I had someone pushing me too. Uh, Nick won, but other than that, it was I think it was a good run. Did you get off to a pretty good start out of the out of the blocks comfortably? Yeah. Yes. Uh, first first three hurdles felt really good. A part part of that is being you know you have all this time to get really loose. And uh, sometimes I can struggle getting my eight steps to the hurdle and try and kind of take a long stride. But no, it, it was feeling really clean today. Did you watch the first two guys and what were you kind of thinking as they were going? To tell you the truth, I, I didn't watch them at all. Uh, I know I know what I'm expecting out of them, and I just focus on getting my my blocks set up to how I want them because they're they're uh, they're big and clunky. So uh, getting those situated how I want them, and then just kind of. Uh, collecting myself before I get in the box. Well, Nate, appreciate you joining us. Looking forward to talking to you after the finals. Thank you. Let's talk with the anchor leg here who had a great run today as well, Isaac Roseman. Isaac, uh, when you got that today, you were in second place. Talk about your run. You look smooth. Yeah, it was a real smooth run. I mean, I got out of the blocks a little slower than I wanted to, but that's because we were playing it safe and everything. But, yeah, I just I just knew since we were behind, I had to make up that ground. And that's one of the things I'm good at is playing catch-up, even though I'm not a fan of it. But playing catch-up pushes me to my limit, and I just ran as fast as I could. Did you feel like you had him the whole time, or when did you feel like you got him? Uh, the first two hurdles, I felt like he was pulling away. But after that, I just felt real smooth, and I started catching up to him. And it, catching up to him, and I just... Went right past him. Were you still kind of watching him out of the corner eye right after those first two, or did you just kind of focus no, on you? I just focus on my lane, my hurdles, getting to the finish line as fast as possible and faster than the person next to me. What do you think is your strength run in the hurdles? Just getting over them. Like, all season I haven't clipped one hurdle in a race yet. Granted, I haven't ran many races since these guys can win meets without me, but, I mean, it's just the smoothness that's my big thing. Well, Isaac, I appreciate you joining us here. We look forward to talking to you after the finals. Thank you.